Hello guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'm gonna show you two CV walkie-talkie antennas that I'm sure they are gonna help you to get more out of your walkie-talkie. Uh, I was trying this one which is the HYS 16 inches and I read a comment on one of my videos from one of my viewers, Glenn. Thank you, Glenn, for, for the tip. And he talk, talk, uh, tell, told me about this other HYS telescopic antenna. On the past, I didn't like telescopics because they are very rigid and I don't know. I, I didn't like it. I, I really like more flexible antennas. But, for different purposes, I said, well, since it's only $16 on Amazon, I'm going to give it a try. And, man, this thing is like putting your CV on steroids. Really, really works amazing. It is 9 inches and goes all the way up to 51 inches. I've been testing this one on my semi-truck for about two weeks now and I cannot even extend it all the way but the reception is amazing it, it improved a lot so I'm gonna have both this one for other purposes when I am carrying the walkie talkie on my belt or my backpack or activities where I don't want a huge antenna but I still have a very good range and this one for open amazing antenna and it's easy to carry both and both both are very very cheap so let me show you a close-up of this i'm gonna show you also some clips of the range test i did and then i'm gonna show you very quick how i calculate the direct line of sight i get a, a how I get to know the direct line of sight on an app that is called Map Ruler. Very easy to use. It is free from Android Store. I'm not sure if it's on Apple, might be, uh, but let's see. So let's take a close look to these antennas. Okay, guys. Let's see first, these ones are the rubber dockies that come comes with the walkie talkies normally from the factory. Let me tell you, the unit is very limited on, on range. I use it for many years like this, then I got this HYS, I use it on the unit and improve a lot. I mean, it doubled the range on the walkie-talkie. But the, ro the rubber dockies are very limited, okay? So, well, one thing, the Midland rubber docky performs way better than the Unitens. It's a, a better antenna by far, by far. But it's still not as good as these other two, okay? So, if you want to go flexible, this is a very, very good antenna to go with. The HYS 16 inches. It's only $13.99 today in Amazon. It is very well constructed. It's a very good looking antenna and it really, really improves the range on your walkie-talkie. Okay, the weight is only 1.6 ounces, which you, you, you just don't feel it on the radio. I mean, it, it is very comfortable to have it and it looks amazing. It's a gorgeous antenna, very well made antenna. And the other one, if you want to put your walkie-talkie on asteroids, <laughs> You go with this, this telescopic, HYS telescopic antenna. I mean, it is amazing 
how much range you gain. They claim it has 1.8 DVI gain, which I'm not sure about it. I don't have a way to, to test that. But this company has been a lot of time on, on comms. So I think must be true because of the results, okay? As I told you, if you have it all the way down, it's nine inches and you can go and go and go with more asteroids and go all the way to 51 inches. It is crazy, but it is very hard to handle on almost every situation, especially if you are traveling by car. So you are going to have to go down as far as you need. That will lower the range, but it will still works very good. But you have to take that in consideration. Now, if you are like me, don't be like me, but if you are like me, you can have both because they are not expensive. The telescopic is only $16.99 today. So I believe that having these two antennas for any CV walkie-talkie, it will be a great upgrade on your little equipment. And, it, and you will be very, very, very happy with the results, okay? I will give it a try, guys. Uh, I mean, if I show you something over here, it is because it really works. I've been working, uh, trying this one for more than a month, and the telescopic for two weeks now on the road, and both work really, really, really good, okay? Let me show you now uh, a quick look at the map ruler and how I calculate uh, the line of sight. Okay, thank you for watching, guys. See you. Okay. I'm going to show you the app, the map ruler on my tablet, which is an Android, so it will look the same as uh, any cell phone, Android, Android cell phone. You just go to Play, Play Store and you look for map ruler. I have it over here. And this is the map ruler. I already have it installed, so it's just to open, but you download it and it is very use, easy to use. When I open, this is how it looks. So let's say somewhere. Okay, let's say you have, you, you want some direct line of sight. It's as easy as touching. Let's say this road. You touch the point you want, you will see a red dot, and then you find the spot where you are going to be testing and touch it again, and it gives you the straight line, the distance, 2.1 four miles. It's as easy as this. You erase this one. It will give, it will give you ads because it, it is free. And you can also go and different points. You can go from this to this and then to this and it's going to give you the distances and you go and you go. It has some other options and pro stuff, but I'll keep it like that. I just use it 
to get direct line of sight. So I don't save anything. What I do is I print on, on my printer, I print a screenshot of the route I'm gonna take and I write down different checkpoints. Checkpoint one, two, three, four, five. Five is at 4.47 miles, which I thought it was the farthest it, I will go with the test, but it's, the telescopic surprised me on that, and I'm glad I did something I'm gonna tell you. So for the test, I, I took my President McKinley on my car, because I wanted a real test, the receiving on the on the walkie-talkie I use every day, so I, I I wanted something similar, and taking consideration that I'm transmitting from a stock CV radio. If you are on the road, the range you are gonna get is sometimes much higher because most people use a a. a high power CVs, they go way up on the watt power and which is illegal, but nobody enforces or, and nobody cares. So you will be receiving from farther distances, but that's how I do it. It is curious to me, maybe some of you might know why, but apparently the direction you are traveling, it matters, because when I went north doing the range says, okay, I got the one, two, three, the 16 inches got to this point, not very, very, very clear, but it got well to 0.3, 2.6 miles, but somewhere between three and four, I lost it. The telescopic went farther, but farther than 0.5. I drove, just in case I said, oh, I'm gonna give it a try. I drove many miles more doing tests uh, with the names of the intersections so I can find them on the map later. And going from here, nothing happened. But when I turned back, I did the same thing and I was calling from the intersections just to check and I got the signal. So I said, hmm, I thought these antennas were omnidirectional, the one on my car, but apparently it transmit better forward, in, in the forward direction when you are traveling. I'm not a radio expert, maybe of you are, some of you are, and you can tell us on the comments, but that surprised me. And that's how I got the best result on the telescopic antenna, which was 5.5 miles, which is really, really good for a CV walkie-talkie. I also have another uh, good reception from five miles, still very, very good. So the test to me was really a success. And that's the app, very easy to use, very convenient, guys. Thank you for watching. See you the next one.